Hey everybody, welcome back. If you haven't seen the first episode of Slice and Dice, we're, we're giving it the old college try here. We're going to play on normal difficulty, of course. Um, go watch the last episode to go through the tutorial with me, okay? Because we're going to try to play a little bit faster because we did not get very far last time. And it still took a while. Wait, what is meant? Set a hero's HP to three. That's right. Okay. <sighs> Got to remember what you're dealing with here. I think probably just getting some value out of your early dice for now, that, that seems to make sense to me. Probably just making sure you get as few X's as possible. So sure, give me some of that. Um, we can shield for one. The thief is... Wait, the fighter is only taking one damage. So you know what? Why don't you stay at full HP? And we'll kill a rat that is going to attack our healer. Seems to me to make sense to keep your healer alive. I mean, there's no reason to mend anybody just yet. Remember, you heal the full when you finish each level, unless like a unit died and had to be resurrected, in which case it comes back with half. Healing here seems to make sense. That's a good one. That's a good one. Honestly, that seems like a pretty good roll to me as well. Sure, I'll take one mana. It's Maybe it's not that incredible. But let's heal our defender, and now they're looking fantastic. We have enough to do a burst, but we don't necessarily need to. Let's attack a rat, kill this rat. Defender's the one taking the hit, no sweat. We'll do a little bit more damage to you. And like we could do two extra damage to you, but we, or, or we could, now that I think about it, you're doing what, three damage? No, I'd rather just save my mana, because we if we roll two mana, there's a kill shot. We, get, we got a variety of outs here, but two mana's an easy one. And look, we already got it. So let's just, let's just go off on him. How about that? So we got a, a, a level up. We could turn our thief into a ranger. Engage, double damage against uh, full HP units. One damage range cleave. Okay. So it's multiple units. I mean, th this seems like a great fight to have a ranged unit, but also sinew. Chain. Times two if this shares a keyword with, a, with the previously used dice this turn. Well, we haven't had any ability to do that so far. But that's okay. Honestly, am I crazy that this is a ton of damage? I mean, I, th I think that maybe actually just go in the warrior for like raw damage output seems cool. But you only do one damage if you're okay. And you're, like having some range for the archer would be nice, but whatever. Give me the raw damage, man. I'm into it. Now, I don't know if we have... I'm assuming maybe our spells can hit the archer. So two mana would kill an archer. We don't need the heal. We don't need the mace. You, we can do better on, like, all of these. The mage could roll worse, but he could roll better. And I, I love what I see here. Let's just see what the healer's got. I just love mana. Beautiful. Okay. I would like to burst. Uh, I can't hit the archer yet. Okay, fair enough. So how much damage do we have? We have four total damage. You're doing two damage. The healer's dying. Okay, let's not have that happen. And then... I think I would still like to save our mana. Like, let's just go to... Oh, maybe we should spend a little, because we could get three next turn as well. Like, we could get a shield so our mage stays full HP, and then have our thief, like, attack one of the goblins. I'm now realizing some range would be nice to have. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay, that's quite a lot of attack uh, coming out there. What is, what is this? Eliminate target must have the highest HP. Really? Because our healer does not. They're being like, they're being stomped on here. I can kill you. You're also then going to do three damage. Maybe they do have the highest HP right now. I don't know. Anyway, do, do, two mana is good enough. The other dice are not good enough. Roll them up. That's not good enough. That's better. It is. So I'd like to... Even though it's an overkill. I'd like to overkill you. I still can't attack you. You're dying by one. Right. <laughs> now you're not dying. That's wonderful news. And you're going to attack you slightly and we have a dice that does nothing. Okay, I'm, I'm picking up the flow. This is not that bad. I mean, it's early, so it shouldn't be. Oh, I forgot you're exhausted. Dude, you're exhausted. 
I would roll again. We really, we want to see like four mana. If we can't get it, I'll take a heal and like any mana. Sure, that's fine. Because we can heal ourselves, just bank a mana, defend whoever's about to be attacked, which is predominantly you, and then kill the archer. And then, oh, they flee if they're alone. We didn't have to do any of that. <laughs> hmm. Cloak. Replace the middle side with dodge all enemy attacks effects or big shield. Replace the left side with shield one. Anybody got a blank left side? Is it shield one or shield four? Shield four. I'm actually stupid. Um, I mean, you having shield four instead of a chain makes sense to me for now. And if we have to, we can get that chain going later. Seems like a sensible upgrade. Okay, that should do double damage against... Wait, does it? No, it, it must... It's heavy. I'm going to learn these symbols one day. Five damage against the most HP. So our defender is in trouble. We can do better with then two shields here. Although you're exactly... No, because we... No, no, no. I'm, I'm happy re-rolling this because we could always put two shield on you with our mage if we have to. Okay, three of those. Two of these. We're getting into the position where I... You know, we just got to not make enemies, I guess. Full defense turn. I accidentally put the shields on you. I'd like to undo that. I was just clicking randomly. I mean, you should also be protected. And I'm just going to save up my mana. To, to have a flare, I think, matters more to me right now. To be able to, like, one-tap these units. Okay, what, what is this thing? Exerted next turn. Brother, you're not even going to be alive next turn. I wouldn't sweat it. So four mana is good enough. I would take two extra defense. We really want to see... It, it's kind of like bow and arrow or go home. And it looks like you're going home. So... I would start... Who's dying? Defender is dying. But... I was going to say not for long. And that's true. Look at that. I think we should kill you... Even though you're exerted, Nick. Oh, no, 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 we shouldn't. How much damage you do? Five? Six. We should kill you and then the mage lives. Is that easy. And then you can just run some defense on your defender who already has it, I guess. No, oh, does not have it, but could use it. Okay. And then with this flare, I mean, why not? Why not almost kill the wolf? So I got a little twisted up there. But it, it always takes a while to learn. We're learning new systems, okay? Cut me some slack. What is this? One damage cleave. Okay. Well, like three shield for a defender is really good. Two mana is nice. Healing is still nice. And then we want to see bow and arrow. Okay, we could just take that and kill the wolf. So now only the mage is taking damage. Now they're taking no damage. And it doesn't really matter what else you do. I mean, I guess we can hit, hit you now because you're at the back line. Okay, we level up. Defender can become barred. Shield 2 charged. Gets a bonus equal to your current mana. Gain 1 reroll cantrip. Shield 1 to all allies. Shield 1 to all allies. Plus 2 mana single use. After you use this side, replace it with a blank. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I kind of enjoyed what our invoker was doing for uh, evoker was doing for us last time. I'm let's not overcomplicate it too much unnecessarily. Okay, we get the troll. Three damage to three units. That's a great roll. This is not an acceptable roll in my opinion. That's acceptable, acceptable as good as it gets, and then something nice out of the defender. <laughs> well. I'll get the mana for drop, and then I'll drop it on you. And then I'll smack you, even though it exerts. And then I'll smack you. And honestly, I'd rather store mana for another drop. I, I think we're doing just fine right now. We have to do, what, six damage to you this turn? And nobody's at risk of dying? I mean, this is a dream. I would, I would roll everything. I would take this. We might as well take a heal if it looks like we're not going to get the KO this turn. But we, we may get the KO this turn. Hold on. He's insane. He, he's the best slice and dice player in the world on normal difficulty. 
Nothing can stop him. Incense. Adds right to the top side. Plus one for each unused ally. They skip this turn. Or a short sword. Replace the two right sides with two damage. I'm kind of into that. I bet we can find a place for that. I mean, I would rather... Yeah, I would rather you be heavy attacker because we do have a defender as is. I know we're stacking it all up on one unit. You leave when you're alone, right? That's what this means? No, if a monster next to you is, is killed, overkilled. Okay. This is good. This is pretty good. This is unnecessary. We don't really want you to be a defender if possible. We want you to be an attacker. This is basically the same role. This is really... Okay, this is fantastic. So I think what we want to do is if we attack the crone, we want to make the bandit flee. So if I attack you like this, and then hit you for two, and then overkill the crap out of you, the bandit will run and we're good to go. See, it's just puzzle solving. You can become a vampire. Two damage lifesteal, heal one to all other allies, but you take one damage. Infuse is heal two to all allies, or a gambler. So you're basically just higher risk, higher reward. If we, could, if we can modify your dice, like five damage on one in six rolls is pretty good. And it appeals to me, which is there must be something wrong with me. Um, the vampire seems kind of cool. Two, it's two damage and a self-heal and two mana as well. I, I'm going to try the gambler. Listen. And then I'm looking at this and I'm like, would we be better off putting this over here, that just makes you more consistent. That seems fair to me. Sure, that, that seems fine. Makes the gambler, it smooths out the variance a little bit. Because we basically replaced one empty space from our squad with a shield. That's good, that's solid. Now this is not good at all. I feel like we should just try to DPS race and kill three goblins. Now you blocking for three is pretty nice. Because the, the last goblin will just leave. We need to do five damage. That's perfect. Gain a little mana. And then protect the, the one taking the most damage, which is our gambler. Okay. I'm feeling okay. Even if we have some exertion. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Healer needs a lot of support here. They don't really need health, though. As strange as that sounds. Now, that's about as good as it gets for the gambler. They could heal for one, but it's like it's not enough. We really, you know what we need? We need our defender to roll big. What does our defender have? I mean, they would need to get three shield. Okay, I'm going to take the heal. And then you need to roll a three piece. It actually happened. It doesn't matter too much if they die. Oh, we can, I didn't even realize we could drop on this fool too. It doesn't really matter if they die because they do come back, but they come back with half HP, which leaves you a little bit, you know, understated for the next fight. Holy cow, this is a, a nasty roll from the enemy. Um, so you're doing four damage to one unit. It's very tempting to just be like, we're going to run some defense here. And let's see what the gambler gets. Two. We got to roll for five. Come on, man. Ah! <laughs> I'm alive. Might as well take zero. Two mana. I would rather save up for a drop, I think. I'm, I'm feeling okay. We didn't make a lot of progress there, but that's, that's fine. Wow, that's actually completely fine. We actually only need one mana. Two, whatever. Two mana, it's not like it's worse. So if we kill one of these units, the other one should flee. We definitely have enough damage. There you go. Pure Heart Pendant. Replace the middle side with Heal 3 and Cleanse. Reduces negative effects by 3. Or Pocket Phylactery. Adds pain to the two left sides, but plus 6 max HP. Um, Not necessarily super thrilled about that one. Let's try the Pure Heart Pendant. Maybe I just don't know how to make that work. So you replace the middle square with Cleanse. It seems very sensible for our healer. 
even though it does take over that that mana space. Okay. I remember this one from last time. I feel like our run is not as good as our first run. That does happen sometimes in roguelites. Okay, this is horrible. I guess we got it. We got to try our big shield here. What are you? 5 damage. Okay, that's very nice. Roll me again. Horrendous. We obviously want the mana. Can we blow up a barrel? How much damage do we have? We have six total damage. We can't even kill a barrel. Well, no, actually, hold on. We can kill a barrel, but we can't overkill it by two or more, I think. Because we technically have one, two, three. We have eight damage. You have six HP. Hold on. I think I can get one bandit to flee. And it's the bandit that's attacking our healer. It looks like this. Burst. Defender. Gambler. Absolutely beautiful. And then, our defender is still dying. We put a big shield on them, and we've, we've temporarily solved the puzzle of probability. Now, if I could just land a huge chief on, or a huge shot on the war chief, he's actually, he's going to make the other unit flee. But I need to get, like, one, and then I need to find a way to do three damage in order to make that happen. I know this seems a little backwards. Like, this won't do it. It needs to be, it needs to be better. Reduce negative effects by, this would actually be advisable. Two mana is not enough either. We need like, we need four mana, which is fundamentally impossible. I can at least kill you. So that's nice. And then you might as well cleanse. And you're dying. Now you're not dying. Give me some mana, attack for one. It would have been nice for the puzzle to work there, but you know, you, I guess you can't always get what you want. And now everybody's just relaxing. This is fine. I would simply roll this one out, I think. We could do better. I would roll... We just want damage. We want damage in mana. And we, you know, we're given none of that, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Could have done two extra damage to you, but we might as well save our mana. Let me uh, simply attack you. Apparently we got a straight there. I'll take it. Just grab them all. Smack him. It's over for you. And we're moving on. Medic. You got a cleanse? What's in your middle here? Regen also heals for one at the end of the turn. Cle heal two and cleave. Get some mana. Renew, set a hero to six HP. Or we can make our defender into a cleric. Heal and shield. Shield and cleanse. Let's go. We, we haven't seen the cleric so far. Let's give it a try. Now, this is where we died last time, right? So I think we got to remember that it's possible we may want to take care of the minions. Or at least spawn them at the right intervals. Like, how much damage are you doing? That's five damage, right? Five damage to two units. You're a heal and shield two. It's like, I think we could do better... Or maybe it's best to split... I don't know. I got. <laughs> do you do better than shielding too? Not really. Might as well embrace it. Mana? Sure. I think that's as good as it gets. I'll end my turn. I'll... I'll um, I'm just thinking, okay? You should shield. You should shield. You should get the mana. I could drop this on you. You would spawn a Slimer. It's like in Slay the Spire, you always kill the big one. And then, like, get the little ones as close to splitting as possible and then smack them. Yeah, okay. I'm, I don't know if that still applies here. I'm scared, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Scared of being a nobody. Scared of having the world's worst-sounding water bottle. Let's drop... And then try to kill the mini slimes that come out as fast as possible. Before they get a chance to attack. I'm not sure if it's the right play. It's just what I happen to be doing. What we did last time did not work. This seems important. This seems important. I would rather do some damage with, with Sinew. But four shield is really hard to ignore. Okay, so I, I don't know if this is exactly what we need. I'm being a little lazy here. 
We'd really, rather than drop, we'd really rather like burst two on you, I think. You're, you're, you guys are barely dying. So I, let's start here. And then maybe a little there. Okay, so nobody's dying. And let's heal you. I'm thinking it's like, it's like a burst. And let's just, let's just burst and get you out of my life. No, I could kill you so easily next turn. Let's attack you and burst you. Then we got two little babies next turn. That's no problem. They probably don't even do that much damage. He's figuring it out. The heck is this? It's just three damage. Okay, it's literally just three damage. This is pretty good. I think we can do better. This is acceptable. This is pretty good. We don't really, well, it's, it's not a, it's just a cleanse, right? It's, oh, it is a heal three too. Okay, then, then go for it. Our cleric can do better. It's not as better as I would have liked, but that's okay. So you're living. You might as well shield. I, I'd shield our evoker for now. Kill this slimelet. We got no damage coming in. Minimal damage coming in. We could drop on you. I think I would, then we wouldn't have, no, you know, I got to think about it. <laughs> Don't got to do it. <laughs> it gets you as close as possible without going over. The price is right. Okay, the flanking attack again, it's, it's becoming a little much. I'm just throwing that out there. None of these are that good. We could do better. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Not good enough. Very nice. Okay. Mana, mana. Be dead? We should kill you. Drop on you? Huge overkill here. Might seem like a waste, but we get a turn where we take no damage. That seems nice. Gambler's dying, but only just. Healing for three. Shielding. Littering end. Five damage. Three mana. This is crazy. You're pogging. You're also pogging. Enough mana to drop on you. And then enough mana to actually kill you. And then just have to do, deal with two little slimelets here. Bro, I'm not sweating it at all. Give me, give me a smack. I mean, this is already over. Smack me. Jeez. <laughs> smack me. <laughs> we made level 9 out of 20. If you have less than or equal to two heroes, plus 5. Plus five to all sides if there's two or fewer living heroes. Regenerate one health at the end of each turn. I mean, dude, honestly, syringe kind of makes sense to me. If almost all of our units are dead, we would love it if, uh, if our best unit, in my opinion, could go sicko mode. But I don't know how much longer we're going to live for. We got, we're getting new mechanics for the first time in a bit. Bones. Bone shards do one damage to adjacent allies on death and imp. On hit, damage the attacker for one. Okay, well, this is decent for a gambler. The heals are unnecessary. A shield might be relevant. Everything else we could do better. Two mana is fine. Two shield is not that good. Okay, it's literally just, like, worse. Two mana. Feels like... Do you inflict poison? It looks like you do. But I feel like we should save up a drop to use on an imp. So I'm going to hit you once, even though I take one damage in return. Oh, but then I could just kill you. Sure, that makes sense. It makes a lot more sense. Wait, whoa, whoa. And then use your heals after the spike so that you actually have something to do with heals when your dude's at full HP. It's, it's sensible. It's sensible. What the heck are these four bone attacks? This is madness. Cleric and healer are in a horrible spot. This is good. This is good. This is good. Look, and that's, a, that's like the best you could do. Three mana? I'll settle for two. Listen, it, it could be better, but it could be worse. Two mana. Cleric and healer still dying. Who's taking the most? Gambler. <laughs> Trick question. Well, they're both one heal away from living. So that's easy enough. 
I think I would most like to kill an imp again. No, I think I'd most like to kill a skeleton. That way we don't have to deal with the status effects. Uh, or that, that way we, we, sorry, we don't have to deal with the raw damage. I was originally thinking we'd kill the imp and I wouldn't have to worry about the poison, but we have so many cleanses that it doesn't seem like the poison is necessarily like that bad. This seems good, good. We could probably do better with the cleric, roll me. I mean, we, it's not, we're not out of the woods yet, but seems pretty solid. I'd love a shield here. It is what it is. Let me uh, ice you. And then I'm feeling like I could drop on you and then literally just burst on you. And it's already over. No sweat. Healer can become a, a herbalist. Give, give some poison single use. Okay. Vine for one. One damage or heal one. Adds growth to target sides. Growth gets plus one this fight after use. To target side. So it would buff our cleric and our evoker. Or Fey. One damage weaken. Mana gain. You also gain one mana. Heal one boost. Target gets plus one to all sides this turn. I have no idea. <laughs> no clue. What I do know is that we do well with mana. So let's take the unit that seems to have the best, uh, the best mana. Best mana options. And then maybe we don't need a cleanse anymore because our cleric has a cleanse associated as well. All right. I got like 10 minutes before I got to pause the video. I got to be somewhere. But first, let's see if we can at least get through like these next two fights maybe. Zombie. Dies if it takes four or more damage in a single attack. Beautiful. Slimer. At least it's the second iteration. It's not a slime queen. What's, what the heck is going on with the fanatic? They're crazy. Um, I do think this is like a reasonable amount of mana. It's a good result for the gambler. But we need some shields. That's unfortunate. There's some shields here. Hold on. You get iced. Little lucky. You're barely dying. Now you're living. I think I want to attack you for two. And then I want to try to like kill you in one go next time. Seems most sensible to me. This fanatic is doing a lot of damage, though. But, oh, wait, does he take the damage that he does as well? Because it looks like he, he lost a lot on that. Okay, that's, that's what the cleric does. Heal for one and add some regen. Sure, this is your best possible result. This is pretty good. Um, start here. Drop. They're not doing anything this turn. Protect your gambler's life. I would probably throw in a regen on Sinew. Even though they don't have anything to do with it now, they're going to want to do something with it later. I promise you that. And then if I'm not mistaken, this means you're dead because you take that damage yourself as well. And we could have put it on the gambler, but I think Sinew needed the HP more. And now we just need to get three attacks, which is very realistic. And... Literally just happened. Okay. Get owned. Get owned. Get owned. No, no sweat. A ruby. Plus two to incoming healing. Plus two to empty max HP. Or an ornate hit. Add self shield to all damage sides. Listen, plus two to all healing also seems good. This seems like an awful lot of damage though. Plus two to all damage sides. Am I crazy to think... All of a sudden, our, our gambler is crazy. Although, oh. Plus, oh, no, add, not plus two, add self-shield. <laughs> it's still really good, don't get me wrong. I don't know, I, I got them conflated in my head somewhere. Okay, we have a ghost and whiz. Whiz is on the back row. What the heck are you doing? What is this? Summons two bones. Six damage, target must have the highest HP. Eliminate. Target must have the highest HP. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Four damage descend. Also hits below the target. Okay, so the cleric's in, like, a horrible spot. What is this? Adds growth to target side. Sides. Um, I mean, I don't really want you guys to become incorporeal or anything, you know? So I think what you got to... We, we should be able to get a kill. 
I have an idea in my head. Here's how it looks, okay? I'd like to get it like a shield. Thank, thank, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So watch this. Burst on you. And then don't let you become incorporeal. I'm just going to smack you. I'm going to smack you for lethal. Then I'm going to shield myself. I'm going to put some regen on the herbalists themselves. And I'm going to smack you. You'll become incorporeal, but at the same time, pray, you only got one HP, so I'm not sweating it all that much. Now you have summoned two bones. I'm not going to worry too much about your attack. I'll tell you that much right now. I don't know what the heck's going on with the gambler, though. It's back row. Starts at the back. What, what is this? Weaken. Target minus four to all sides this turn. He's useless. Actually, that's actually still pretty good. This is fine. I don't think the poison is really relevant, and obviously a blue X is not what we're looking for. Sure, I'll take a bunch of mana. Let's keep you alive. Let's kill a ghost and put some extra shield on ourselves. Let's, uh, let's put the drop on his bones. And I, I would probably just save my mana right now, honestly. This guy's still in the back line, so we can't actually hit him until we kill this bones. But like when the bones gets, oh, it's it, you got, you're done. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but it is over. Wait, no, this dice sucks. Get out of here. Everything, but I thought that was the, our five dice. This dice sucks. It's the same dice. Okay, it's it's still not that bad. Get smacked. You get stunned. It doesn't matter though, because we're we're dropping you. Look at that. Sharpshooter. Eight of eight. Range. Kintar okay, so you're ranged. Kills an enemy with five or less HP. Copycat. Copies the keywords from the last used dice face this turn. Okay, that's madness. I don't know what to think. Wanderer. Plus two damage era. Plus one at the end of each turn. Inflict pain. Adds pain to a target's sides for a turn. Single use after you use this side. Replace it with a blank. Quad use. One damage quad use can be used four times in a single turn. Holy cow. <laughs> I think we replace the gambler with the sharpshooter. But then I'm like, I got to look at this for a second. Add self-shield to all damage sides. That still seems great. Replace two right sides with two damage. Not that necessary. Place the middle with cleanse three. All right, I gotta. I just have to throw a pause in this. I got stuff to go do, but for now, I'll, I'll see you in a bit, and thanks for watching, even though I'm probably about to lose. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm back. It's been four hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> I had a meeting at the bank. I picked up my daughter from daycare, cooked dinner, ate it, did all the dishes, hung out with my family, and, and now it's time to... I guess what I'm trying to say is it's not very bullish that we're probably going to step right back into this one and immediately know what's going on. The fairly realistic chance that we we die pretty quick, I think. But I'm going to do my best, obviously, and I'm having a good time. Plague. All heroes get negative one HP at the end of each turn. Minimum one. That's a lot. <clears throat> what are your moves? Summon an imp. Summon an imp. Six damage heavy. Six damage heavy. Okay, that's bad news for the sharpshooter. Poison damage cleave. Poison damage cleave. You know what I'm noticing here? If you kill this bones, it'll do 1-1, one, one, and then it'll collapse this bones up a little bit, which means that if we had focus on the ones in the middle, we'll get a little bit of a bonus damage, make it easier to kill the bones at the top and the bones at the bottom. So that's... That's what I'm thinking right now. Hold on, what's your thing again? You gotta help me out. I'm like, I'm starting from zero. <laughs> um, I don't think we need to apply this. I understand that we could overwrite a negative space. Uh, maybe it actually, it does make sense on you, but you, you got some great moves as is. And it does make sense almost on the evoker a little. It actually, maybe it makes more sense on the cleric. Although it does override one shield. We got other shields coming in. 
And then you add, uh, we don't need that because the cleric or the, the herbalist has a cleanse, right? Nobody has a cleanse? I thought there was a cleanse involved. Jerry, I was told there would be a cleanse. I don't really want to overwrite anyone's ability, though. I feel like the... the, the you, do you have poison? You do have poison, don't you? Mm, I, I, I've decided I do want to cleanse. Let's overwrite... It's wild. Because it takes the middle spot. I'm going to overwrite your two mana gain. And turn it into a 3 HP heal with cleanse. But I, I'm not necessarily, like, optimistic. <laughs> so remember, I think we're going to target the, the bonies on the flank first. So you copy the last dice used. Which in this case was self-shield. That's kind of cool. Okay. You heal one plus regen. Is there anything else we'd like? No, this is actually... It's not... Honestly, we'd rather re-roll that, I think. Cleric, two damage. This means we can kill a bony. We take it, we re-roll. Two mana is pretty good. It's good enough to take. We can re-roll the regen. It's low risk. Okay, getting nothing out of our DPS is pretty bad. But, I think we're going to shoot a bony. And sh that shields the sharpshooter, which is nice. Then we're going to smack you. Hold on. Hold on. Sinew is dying here. Undo me. Undo me. I can't undo. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hold. No, 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 no. Vine. One damage or one heal. Hold on. Who's getting... You're getting attacked by yellow here. And you're getting attacked by yellow. Okay. I, I, I think if we go like this... And then... Like this. You live. Which is valuable to me. The heal is not good. The regen actually would have been better. But let's give you a shield to keep you as alive as possible. And then I'll... The heal doesn't really matter. I just did it just to do it. The poison is an issue. Although, no, no, no. The, it looked like the cleansing sort of helped us to begin with. Like it, it preempted some poison. I don't know. Okay, so we have two dying units. The evoker and sinew. I feel like helpful... Helpful. Three mana is insane. Two attack. I would rather have some defense and some heal from the cleric, I think. This is a horrible roll. That's about the same, but life goes on. So, let's throw some heal on the sinew. Because the sinew gets stronger the more of our units that die. Let's shoot you, because you're attacking the invoker, or the e evoker. Now nobody's dying. Let's smack you to do maximum damage to all other units. Let's smack you to get you close to death. Let's use our three mana to get a vine to hit you for one. And we get to save two mana to use to finance a drop soon. Okay, you've summoned an imp. Now, what's the thing with the imp? Is like when I you have thorns. On hit, damage the attacker for one. So it would be nice to one tap you. Maybe nice, but unrealistic. Now, this is good. I need to keep you from dying, though. You apply w one unblockable damage. We can actually use that to kill you before you kill the evoker. So there's some value there. Roll me. Some shields would be, would be incredible right now. Okay, I'm starting to regret my decision. You will still be killed, yeah. I'm starting to regret my decision to overwrite um, any uh, of the defense abilities on our cleric, but that's okay. We've actually, I think we've done okay here. Our max HP is getting mighty low. Little poison, I think we deal well with that. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is rerollable. Nobody's dying this turn, which is crazy. I w in that case, I would... Oh, no, you might die to poison, so sure. Like, a, a regen might be very relevant, actually. Two mana, word! A genius! Get smacked. Get smacked. Get smacked. And then, two mana, burst. You're dead. We win. Six spell, mark. Four mana, two damage and vulnerable. Vulnerable. Target takes plus N damage from dice and spells that turn. Where N equals... 
what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, at this go shield at the start of each turn, sh self shield too. I mean, the, the, you could see how this could all come in handy. A spell seems interesting. Let, let's take that. You have new items. Oh, I, I need to equip it on somebody, of course. Might as well just put it on you, um, and continue me. Okay, so the ogre. What is this? You you um. You get more damage the closer you, every time we pass one of these. Okay, so the snakes, my opinion, should probably go first. Four shield, love to see it. Although we're not really taking that much damage, we should reroll that. We should reroll all this, I think. Two damage I'll live with. Three mana is incredible. Roll me once more. Okay, it's not that bad. I would say get a drop going. I would say get a burst going. Nobody's dying, which is crazy. And then let's make sure we kill the other snake. And then we just want to focus one ogre at a time. And everybody's taking hits here, but who's taking the most? Well, you, really. So, you know, clean your own mirror. Okay, can we do one, 10 damage in a single turn? That's the dream we're looking for. Kill an enemy with five or less HP. It's like we're, we're close. <laughs> I'd like to lock this dice for now. Keep the four piece. Five or less HP. This seems like very doable. Uh, you know what? We can get there with one mana. And then the rest is gravy. I don't really love it. I'd love to have more mana. And that's exactly how that went down. Okay, so watch this. One mana. Vine. Get smacked. Get hit for four. Get killed now that you have five life. He's insane. The, the man has discovered how to game on a level that nobody else has ever experienced before. Now, can I do 10 damage in a single turn again? That's not likely. Because you're taking a turn off. But nobody's at risk of dying. So, like, this is... It's not necessary. Poison, sure, it's damage. Sharpshooter, that's damage. Otherwise, roll. You really want to see, like, big mana... I would take one mana, even though it seems like not very much. Because then we can do one mana, drop, although now I realize you're doing more damage. Should have thought about that, about that before. But then watch this, two damage. Oh, you have one more HP than I thought you did. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. You got four. Take one damage and a poison, and then get shot, and, and you're dead. So we can make a curator. Or a warlock. You can get four mana, but you take four damage. Holy cow. Bloodlust, plus two mana bloodlust, bonus equal to number of damaged enemies, and a blaze. Thir does, that, does that say 13 damage? Am I having a stroke? Single use self heal, or a curator. One damage steal, six damage plus three from pristine. One damage charged, bonus equal to your current mana. It gets stronger at the end of every, you know what? I'm a simple man. Go ahead, and I, I'm probably just going to give you the same items. All, oh, oh, excuse me, that's a six damage death, you die? <laughs> okay, well, let's be careful. <laughs> All right, we probably want to make sure we're locking in a dice before our final roll on, on the yellow dice. What is this? Steel. Bonus equal to this hero's current shields, which is presently zero. This is good. This is great. This is fine. What's your thing? You're exerted next turn. You're, I wouldn't worry about next turn right now. I'm going to roll these two. You rolled death, so I'm going to roll you again. You didn't die. That's wonderful news. So here's the thing. I'm going to shoot you. Is this a stun? It is a stun. I'm going to try to get you to the stun. And it's, it's not going to happen ASAP, but that's okay. What's your thing? On hit, do six damage. Oh, so the herbalist is just like straight up almost dead. Um, wait, you're not dead. What happened here? Perhaps I made an error. It has been known to happen. I'm going to get a, a drop going on this Cyclops just to get it closer to um, being stunned for a turn. The herbalist, what happened? Did it just cancel your action or something? 
I'm, I'm, or you, you summoned the nymph. I'm just confused, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But that's nothing new. This is good. This does damage equal to our current mana. Okay. Regen. Might come in handy, but I feel like maybe we'd be better off just having more mana for a shield. And that's good. Good. And Evoker can do better than that. No, it can't. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So you're doing a lot of damage to blue. It would be nice if you died, but first take your mana. So we got two extra mana, so you'll do four damage. No, you're Era. You're not a mana bonus. Okay, in that case, stun you so you don't act this turn. Evoker's still dying, but check this out. Get smoked. Get smoked. You're still... You're not dying. You're getting close. Take a little... Oh, I healed you and put the shield. I, well, it doesn't actually... That makes sense. You needed the shield. It's the right thing to do. <clears throat> am, I, am I crazy to feel like we might have a shot at the 10-piece here? Or the 20-piece? Sorry, I play a lot of Super Auto Pets. Okay, big heal with a cleanse. Big shield. Why is it red? Adds pain to all sides this turn. How much pain? It's good. Roll it again. Shield me, shield me. Sure, that's probably enough to keep us alive. So, this it would be nice if the Cyclops died. Now who's dying? Cleric? Just Cleric. Heal them. Heal yourself. Protect yourself. Okay, now we just gotta do 175 damage to this demon. No big deal. You're gonna do 6 damage. That's not even that big of a deal. 4 damage? Does... Wait, oh, because you get stronger every turn, of course. Two mana is good. One is enough for a drop, but I, from the Evoker, I expect more. And that, that's, that's more. I appreciate that. And then two more damage. Get smoked. Get smoked. What happens when I hit this? Six damage. Our Cleric can't weather the storm. <laughs> I'm not sure if our, if our Herbalist can either, honestly. So I, you know what? I know I'm going to lose the, the mana... I, I need to make sure that our character is... Well, you know what? No, no, no. Hold on. Heal your... You can't really... Well... Heal the herbalist. That's a shield. That's not a heal. There you go. I don't know if that... We, we, we didn't need to use all that mana to do that, but... It is what it is. Now, if I could just get you down to five. Or past five. Steal bonus equal to this hero's current shields, which is zero. This is good. You're all dead. You're all dead. I just need to make sure I could live through the attack, <laughs> which I'm not sure if I can. You take some support. You got no target an enemy. A one damage steal bonus damage equal to this hero's shields. Well, right now you're dying, so that's not very smart. Nobody can take the shot here. Yeah, I, I basically just said it's okay if you die. And I apologize for that. Wooden bracelet, plus one to all sides with no keywords. Or a spell, three damage. Forget burst, but you get three damage or shield three. It just makes burst better. That's a gimme as far as I'm concerned. Now, I don't know why my curator is not hurt. But I'm, I'm happy that they're not. Or was it my cleric that... It was my cleric that died last time. Okay, so they are hurt. Okay, Hydra. Let me look at this for a second. Five heads. Dies if damaged five times in a turn. And Ka. After taking damage for the first time, move back this turn. I can do five damage in one turn. I could copy the self-shield. I could damage you. This is damage. Roll me. Roll me. I'm getting greedy. I can tell. Did you just die? Did you just die? I'd like to undo. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I can't live. Um, that's bad. Well, I'm going to hit you for my hardest attack. It does do six damage, though. Oh, now I can't. Hold on. Undo me. I'm going to hit you for six. I'll get you later. Wait, maybe I didn't have to do that. Maybe I just don't die if I don't do that. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. 
But I would like you to live. Is that even possible? Is that a thing that makes any sense? Yes, I could do this, and I could do this. Thus sacrificing my one unit to make my other unit live. And then check this out. Heal for one, regen one plus one HP. And then you're still dying. So this seems bad. Um, I would say that it's possible here that I made some mistakes. I didn't have the best run that could be possible. I need to do... Um, I, need to, I need to protect 8 HP this turn. That's not going to happen. What I can do is at least give you a fighting chance. I think I can only save 3 mana per turn. So there's no way I'm going to hit you 5 times in a single turn. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the drop on you a little bit. And then I'm going to recognize that it's over. Uh... Although, hold on, I can't use the spell again. Oh, because my unit that possessed it has died. Okay. Mm, that's unfortunate. That's also bad. I'll end my turn and be dead. Either way, I feel like we learned a lot. I'm excited to play this on stream tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!